The Collectio Canonum Quadripartita also known as the Collectio Vaticana or, more commonly, the Quadripartitis is an early medieval canon law collection, written around the year 850 in the ecclesiastical province of Reims. It consists of four books hence its modern name, Quadripartita, or, Four-Parted. The Quadripartita is an episcopal manual of canon and penitential law. It was a popular source for knowledge of penitential and canon law in France, England and Italy in the 9th and 10th centuries, notably influencing Regino's enormously important Libri Duo de Synodalibus Casus, two books concerning diocesan affairs. Even well into the 13th century the Quadripartita was being copied by scribes and quoted by canonists who were compiling their own collections of canon law. This work should not be confused with the early 12th-century Latin translation of Old English law known as the Quadripartitis. Background the Complementary Acts of Confession and Penance, originally highly ritualized acts undertaken only once in a lifetime and in public fora, developed in the early Middle Ages into a disciplinary system known as private or secret penance, in which the faithful were encouraged to confess their sins regularly and in secret to a priest or confessor, who then enjoined an appropriate period of punishment. Through the Middle Ages the private penitential system became an increasingly elaborate and ritualized institution. In its earliest form, however that is, as it was practiced from around the 6th to 8th centuries this system was dependent upon the transmission of basic lists of sins often sexual in nature, though also dietary, criminal and profane and their corresponding punishments. These short lists of sins made up a genre of texts known as the "...penitential handbook", or just "...penitential". Penitentials were first employed as disciplinary tools by Irish and British monks living in cloistered, highly ascetical religious communities, but soon spread to England and France, where they developed into varied and grander forms. By the 8th century, penitentials had adopted a focus on lay sins, they were now commonly used by secular priests in their task of hearing confession from lay parishioners, and by bishops as tools for moral instruction. Their popularity was rivaled only by their variety, as the number of manuals in circulation grew, so did the discrepancies between them. This gave rise during the early 9th century to a backlash against the diversity of penitentials and the diversity of disciplinary and theological «errors» which they propagated. A number of Frankish councils demanded that the laws of the older penitentials be brought into line with the accepted canonical norms of the Church, as reflected in the more conservative Collectiones Canonum canon law collections being compiled at the time. Partly as a result of such efforts towards standardization, the older penitentials eventually fell out of use and were replaced by the large collections of penitential and canon law which dominated in France and Italy in the 10th and 11th centuries. During the Carolingian period there evolved two different yet overlapping contexts in which the penitentials were used. The first of these was the pastoral context of confession between priest and parishioner. The second was an administrative and or academic context, in which books of penitential law typically served bishops in their roles as administrators of local dioceses, adjudicators at judicial synods and students of moral philosophy and canon law. Naturally, the penitential required by a bishop was much different than that required by the confessor priest, and it is largely within this episcopal context that the penitentials evolved from mere manuals into vast collections of penitential, disciplinary and administrative law. By the 9th century, chapters from penitential manuals had entered many of the influential canon law collections then being copied and compiled on the continent. Since at least the 5th and 6th centuries, canon law collections could boast of being repositories of the ancient and authoritative conciliar and papal judgments of the Christian Church. As such, these collections had at first stood in stark contrast to the early penitentials, whose lists of sins and corresponding penances was neither ancient nor authoritative. In time, however, the genres of collectio and penitential blended together. As canon law collections succumbed to revision and abandoned or at least complicated their claims to antique authority by including newer and less authoritative laws, it became more common for them to include penitential canons. The collections began to look more like penitentials, even as penitentials everywhere were beginning to take on characteristics size, systematization, papal and conciliar laws of the more formal collectiones. Problems of textual stability and genre were further exacerbated by the fact that no one code or collection of canon law claimed status as the recognized standard. 
It was in this context of fluctuating generic and textual boundaries in France that the Quadripartita developed. Composition <laughs> 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 The first book treats the life, preaching, judgment and duty of priests, the second and third books discuss at length the purpose and use of private confession and penance, as well as the nature of sin, the fourth book contains nearly 400 short chapters drawn from conciliar, papal, patristic, penitential, and monastic sources, concerning all manner of disciplinary issues. Books 3 and 4 are significantly longer than books 1 and 2. Scholars have divided the Quadripartita into a number of component parts, including a dedicatory letter, DL, a brief list of authorities used, Octorita Tenkataug, or AK, a list or register of titles for each book, R1, R2, single quote, comma, single quote, R3, single quote, comma, single quote, R4, a general preface, GP prefaces for books 2 to 4 p24 the text or canons of the four books t14 and an epilogue ep topic sources topic topic manuscripts and transmission topic there are nine extant manuscripts which contain the Quadripartita, dating from as early as the 9th century to as late as the 12th, ranging geographically from Italy to England. The sigla given below Z, M, etc., are those introduced by Michael Eliot. The table above shows how the Quadripartita often circulated in incomplete form, no doubt as a result of the kinds of textual trauma and experimentation which anonymous collections typically experienced at the hands of medieval canonists. Of the nine manuscripts extant today which contain the Quadripartita VI contain the collection without its full complement of four books. One can see from the manuscript evidence that some copies circulated without Book one o, some without Book three VD, and some without Book four TR. More often than not, however, the entire four-book collection seems to have been transmitted intact Saint, v. 11, w. Some copies transmitted only Book 4 and, which could sometimes be found tacked onto the end of the Collectio Dasharyana This complex textual transmission, as well as the collection's wide distribution throughout France, Germany, Italy and England between the 9th and 12th centuries, are indicative of the versatility of the Quadripartita and its popularity as a manual of penitential and canon law in the early Middle Ages. Authorship. <laughs> The Quadripartita is now understood to be an anonymous work. However, since the 7th century the Quadripartita has been attributed variously to H. R. A. Banis Morris, Egbert of York and Halletger of Cambrai only in O is the Quadripartita directly associated with the works of a named author, Egbert. Reception the variety of forms in which the Quadripartita circulated, and the variety of texts and contexts with which it is associated in the extant manuscripts, speak to a lively, if uneven and unauthorized reception. Beyond what can be gleaned directly from the surviving manuscript evidence, however, it is now known that the Quadripartita influenced significantly at least nine, and perhaps as many as ten, canon law collections composed between the 9th and the 13th centuries, particularly in northeast France and the region around Trier. These are the Collectio Mediolanensis II, written second half of 9th century near Reims Regino of Prums Libri Duo de Synodalibus Cossus, written ca. 906 at Trier The Collectio Wigorniensis aka. Excerptiones Pseudoigberheti, written ca. 1005 in England The Collectio Sinemuriensis, written shortly after 1067 at Reims the Collection Brugensis, written end of 11th century, of uncertain origin The Collectio Tripartita commonly attributed to Evo of Charts, written ca. 1100 at Chartres The Collection that is Cambridge, Corpus Christi College 442, written after 1100 in northern France The Collection that is Trier, Stadbibliothek, MS 1098 14 written 12th century at Trier 
The collection that is Paris, Bibliothèque nationale, NOUV. ACQ, Lot. 352, written end of 13th century in northern France and possibly the collection 5 Librorum, written about 1020 in central or southern Italy Editions The Quadripartita has never been edited critically, nor has it been printed in full. However, since the 17th century, a number of partial editions have appeared. To date, only books 3 and 4 have been printed in full. Book 2, Chapter 1. Earl R. P. of Selborne, Ancient Facts and Fictions Concerning Churches and Tithes, Second Edition, with Supplement London, 1892, 329–30. Book 2, Chapters 17–52. H. Spellman, ed., Concilia, Decreta, Leges, Constitutiones in Re Ecclesiarum Orbis Britannici Ab initio Christiani ibidem religionis, ad nostrum usque aetatum. Tom. I. A primis Christi seculus usque ad introitum normanorum. London, 1639, 276–78 Printing from O. Conciliorum omnium generalium et provincialium collectio regia, 37 vols, Paris, 1644, 17, 512 to 16, reprinting Spellman. P. Labby and G. Cossert, eds. Sacrosancta concilia, ad regium editionum exacta quae nunc quarta parti protit auxur, 17 vols, Paris, 1671 to 1672, v. Calls 1601 to 04, reprinting the collectio regia. J. Hardwin, ed., Acta Conciliorum et Epistolae Decretales, A. C. Constitutiones Summorum Pontificum, 11 vols, Paris, 1726, for 1714 1715, 3, 1976 79, reprinting Labby Cossert. G. D. Mancy, ed., Sacrorum Conciliorum Nova et Amplissima Collectio, 31 vols, Florence, 1759 to 1798, R. E. P. R. in 53 volumes with supplementary material by J. B. Martin, Paris, 1901 to 1927, R. E. P. R. Graz, 1960–1961, 12, 459 to 482, reprinting Labby Cossert. J. P. Migni, ed., Petrologia Cursus Completus C. Bibliotheca Universalis Omnium S. S. Patrum, Doctorum Scriptorum qua Ecclesiasticorum qui ab avo apostoloca ad usque innocenti three tempora floruerent. Series Prima Latina Paris, 1844–1855, LXXXIX, calls 431b436a reprinting Mansi. Book 3 from a now lost manuscript G. Colviner, ed., Magnanti Rabani Maori ex Abate Fuldensi Opera, Quae Repariri Poterunt Omnia in Sex Tomos Distincta, Collecta Primum Industria Iacobi Pamili. Nunc Vero in Lusum Amissa Cura. Antoni de Henin, 6 vols in 3, Cologne 1626 v. 130-55. Migni, ed., Petrologia Latina, CXII, calls 1333–1398 c reprinting Colviner. Book 4 from V10 and V11 Richter, ed., Antiqua Canonum Collectio Incipits and explicits of entire collection as found in Saint have been published by L. Fowler Magrel. S. Clavis Canonum, analyzed as collection. Ku, in addition, the dedicatory letter, prefaces of all four books and the epilogue have been printed various times Colviner, ed., Rabani Maori Opera Printed P3 from a now lost manuscript. E. Martin and U. Durand, eds., Viterum Scriptorum et Monumentorum Historicorum, Dogmaticorum, Moralium, Amplissima Collectio, 9 vols Paris 1724–1733, R.E.P.R. New York, 1968, I, calls 70E76D Printed DL, AK, GP, P2, R3, P3, R3 from TR. Tyner, Disquisitions Criticae, 334N. 3 Printed P4 and EP from Mick. Wasserschelben, Betrage zur Geschichte der Vorgrationischen Kirchenrechtsquellen, 4-5 Printed P4 from V10 and V11. 
Richter, ed., Antiqua Canonum Collectio. Printed DL, P2, P3, and EP from TR. Mawson, Geschichte der Quellen und der Literatur des Kanonischen Rechts im Abendland, 853n2 and 853-55. Printed DL, Partial, AK and GP partial from W. Selborne, Ancient Facts, 327-31. Printed DL, GP, R1, P2, P3, P4 and EP from O and V11 External links Richter's 1844 edition of Book 4 Google Books. Transcription of Book 1 of the Quadripartita from Stuttgart HB 762 Transcription of Book II of the Quadripartita from Bodley 718 Transcription of Book III of the Quadripartita from Bodley 718 Transcription of Book IV of the Quadripartita from Bodley 718 Notes Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Topic J. Barron, ed., A Collection of All the Ecclesiastical Laws, Canons, Answers, or Rescripts, with Other Memorials Concerning the Government, Discipline and Worship of the Church of England Translated into English with explanatory notes by John Johnson. A New Edition. Volume 1, Oxford, 1850, originally published London, 1720, note to p. 223. J. Barron, Report on the Anglo-Saxon Documents in Wilkins's Concilia Private Printing, 1859, 8. M. Battison, "...the supposed Latin penitential of Egbert and the missing work of Halliger of Cambrai." The English Historical Review 9 1894, 320–26. G. and P. Ballerini, Sancti Leonis Magni Romani Pontificus Opera. Post Pascasi Quaesnelli Recensionem ad Complers et Prestantissimos MSS, Codices ab illo non consultos exacta, Amendata, et ineditus octa. 3 vols, ed. G. and P. Ballerini, Venice, 1753 1757, 3, calls 272 73, REPR. Petrologia Latina, LVI, calls 300 D302A. J. E. Cross and A. Hamer, eds. Wolfstan's Canon Law Collection, Anglo-Saxon Texts 1, Cambridge, 1999, 32-3. P. Fournier and G. Le Bras, Histoire des Collections Canoniques Occident de Pou les Fosses Décrétales Jusqua Décré de Gratien. Volume. I. De la Reforme Carolingienne à la Reforme Grégorienne, Bibliothèque de la Histoire du Droit 4, Paris, 1931, R.E.P.R. Ailen, 1972, 110. Linda Fowler Magrel, Clavis Canonum, Selected Canon Law Collections before 1140. Access with Data Processing, MGH Hilfsmittel 21, Hanover, 2005, 59-60. A. W. Haddon and W. Stubbs, eds. Councils and Ecclesiastical Documents Relating to Great Britain and Ireland, 3 vols. Volume. Two in two parts, Oxford, 1869–73, REPR. 1964, I, XVXVI, 3, 413–16. F. Kerf, der Quadripartitis, ein Handbuch der Karolinischen Kirchenreform. Überlieferung, Quellen und Rezeption, Quellen und Forschung zum Reck im Mittelalter 1 Sigmaringen, 1982. L. Carey, Canonical Collections of the Early Middle Ages, CA 400 A Bibliographical Guide to Manuscripts and Literature, History of Medieval Canon Law 1, Washington DC, 1999, 167-69. R. Katya, Die Bubuker Halligers von Cambrai und DHRA Banis Morris. IHRE Überlieferung und IHRE Quellen, Beatridge zur Geschichte und Quellenkunde des Mittelalters 8, Berlin, 1980, 183 84. Katja. Eine Antwerpener Handschrift des Quadripartitis 1, IV. Bulletin of Medieval Canon Law 6, 1976, 65 7. G. Le Bras. Un manuscrit vendumois du Quadripartitis. 
Revue des sciences religieuses 11 261 266–69. F. Mawson, Geschichte der Quellen und der Literatur des Kanonischen Rechts im Abendlin. Band I, die Rechtsammlungen bis zur Mitte des 9. Jarunderts Graz, 1870, R.E.P.R. Graz, 1956, 852–63. E. L. Richter, ed., Antiqua Canonum Collectio Qua in Libris de Synodalibus Casus Compilandis Usus Est Regino Prumiensis. Ex Apographo Cod. Ms. Vat. 1347 Brevi Adnotation Critica Instructum Marburg, 1844. H. J. Schmitz, ed., Die Busbutcher und Die Busdiscipline der Kirch, Nach Handschriftlichen Quellen Dargestelt Mainz, 1883, R.E.P.R. Graz, 1958, 716–19. Earl R. P. of Selborne, Ancient Facts and Fictions Concerning Churches and Tithes, Second Edition, with Supplement London, 1892, 235–41 and 327–31 the first edition, which lacks some relevant material, is available through Google Books. A. Tyner, Disquisitions Criticae in Precipuis Canonum et Decretalium Collectiones Seu, Syllages Galandianae Dissertationum de Vetustis Canonum Collectionibus Continuatio Rome, 1836, 334–37. C. Vogel, Les. Libri Penitentialis. Topologie des Sources du Moyen Age Occidental 27 Turnhout, 1978, 80–3. F. W. A. Wasserschelben, Betrage zur Geschichte der Vorgrationischen Kirchenrechtsquellen Leipzig, 1839, 3–10. F. W. A. Wasserschelben, ed., Reginonis Abatis Prumiensis Libri Duo de Synodalibus Casus et Disciplinis Ecclesiasticis Leipzig, 1840, X. Schie. 